Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Uh, on this lesson, I'm going to ask you to copy uh, from here to here for now. Okay, don't worry about this part. I mean, if you can get this one, it's fine, but if you can't, I'm going to focus on uh, this first section first. Okay? All right, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see uh, a little bit better. Okay, I hope you're able to see that. Uh, I have copied the first... Uh, part of the notes okay so this is notes 1-2 and that's going this is going to cover measuring segments uh, so let's see on uh, congruent segments so first of all uh, let me see if this will let me just turn this around that might make it easier okay there we go all right watch this symbol here okay the equal sign and a squiggle about above it means congruent okay so if you see that symbol just know that it means congruent so congruent segments are segments that have the same length, okay? Now, the next definition. The next one is the definition of a midpoint. Uh, a midpoint is a point in the, in the exact middle of a segment. So it's right on the center of the segment, or middle, as this is saying, okay? And the next term is a segment by sector. So a segment by sector is anything that cuts a segment in half, okay? Uh, for this one here, number line, there you have the example, okay? And in this case, we're being asked to find the length of ST. So to be able to find the length of ST, all you have to do is you count, okay? So we're going to count it. All right, so we're going from uh, negative 4 to negative 2, so that means we have, we're going by 2's here. So I'm going to just draw one more here to help you see it, okay? So we're just going to count. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that tells you that the length of segment ST is 12 units. Now, uh, don't get confused with the negatives and positives when it comes to length length is always positive we're talking about distance here okay the distance from point s to point t it has to be a positive distance so don't focus on the negative sign in front of the uh, of these values all right so uh, let's say next you are fine you're asked to find the midpoint of uh, segment uh, t U. Okay, so for this, to find the midpoint, okay, my mistake, uh, this is not TU, should be, it should be uh, TV, okay? So to find the midpoint of TV, what you do is you find the average. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Find the average. And I guess I forgot how to spell now. Okay, I think I fixed uh, my mistake, so find the average. So notice the value at the coordinate the point, point T is 8. Okay, so that's going to be 8. Plus uh, the coordinate the point B is 14. And since we're only adding two points, that means we get to divide by 2. So then we know that 8 plus 14 is 22 units. Okay, so this is 22, and 22 divided by 2 is 11. So the midpoint of TV is equal to 11 units. All right, if you had, if you did not understand any of this, uh, you can pause the video, maybe rewatch it, or you can also uh, send me a message, uh, and I can explain this maybe in a different way to help you understand it. So let's go on to the next section. So if you haven't copied uh, any of this, I'm going to advise you to uh, pause the video and copy uh, this so uh, we can continue, so you can continue copying the notes. Okay, so I'm going to read this at first, okay? And I know it's not gonna make any sense, okay? But in geometry, uh, what we try to do is we try to give ourselves a, uh, ourselves a visual so we can kind of understand, and this is what I've learned, that if my brain is able to see uh, uh, physically, okay, 
uh, what these words are saying, then my brain is able to kind of understand the information and start solving the problem or, or answering the question. So this is called the segment addition postulate, and it says that if points A, B, and C are collinear, don't forget collinear means on the same line. Okay, so that's one of the terms that you saw in the first lesson. And B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. And you might be thinking, well, I don't know what that means. And I understand, okay, I know you don't understand what that means. So let me make it visual for you. So this is saying if A, B, and C are collinear, so that means three points on the same line, and it's saying that B is between A and C. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is point A, and uh, so B is between A and C, so this will be A, and this will be uh, C, and it says that B is anywhere between, so let's say B is here. Okay, so this is point B, and when you connect, the points, you can see that they lie on the same line, okay? So all this is saying is that if I add this segment, okay, AB, okay, and this segment, BC, they should add up to the whole segment. So see how this makes it, uh, makes it make sense? In words, you might be thinking, oh, I don't know what that means, but this makes it visual. So if I add this segment plus this segment, they are going to be equal to the whole segment. So it's like the big segment being cut into two pieces and when you put them back together, you get back the big segment. I hope that kind of makes sense. All right, so let's go on to an example. So example number one says, AB equals X, uh, 8X minus 14, BC equals 4X plus one, and AC equals 59. Now, again, I'm going to sketch myself a diagram so I can uh, help my brain visualize, visualize what this is saying. Okay, so I have an endpoint here, and AB, and BC, and AC is 59. So this will be point A, and this will be point C. And we can place point B. Uh, let's say point B is here. Okay, so let's say that's point B. And then I'm being told that uh, the whole segment, okay, so from here to here, is 59 units. So this is going to be 59, which means that if I add this segment plus this segment, they are going to be equal to 59. But I'm being told that AB is uh, uh, represented by this algebraic expression, which is 8x minus 14. And BC, okay, BC is 4x plus 1. Now, you might be thinking, well, how is this going to help me uh, solve for x and find the lengths of DE and EF. Well, if I know that these two add up to 59, I can set up an equation and that's going to help me find the value of x, which then I can substitute into each one of these two expressions and they will help me find the lengths of DE and EF. So step number one is going to be solve for x. Okay, so I'm going to just take the uh, uh, segment addition postulate. Okay, so the segment addition postulate says that if I add AB plus BC, they have to add up to AC. All right, so instead of AB, AB is 8X minus 14 plus uh, 4X plus 1. That equals AC, which is given as 59. So I just use the segment addition postulate, meaning I substituted for AB and for BC and for AC. Now I'm going to start solving for X. So first of all, I'm going to combine like terms. So a plus four, that gives me 12x. Negative 14 plus one, that's a negative 13. And that equals 59. Okay, next I'm going to uh, keep all the variables on the left hand side and uh, numbers on the right hand side. So I'm gonna add 13, so it's the same minus, so I'm gonna do the opposite. And if I do it to that side, following the rules of algebra, I have to do it to the other side of the equation. So then I have 12x equals, uh, this is, what, 72? Okay, so then this is equal to 72. And last, this is saying multiplication, so I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. I'm going to divide by 12 on both sides of the equation. And once I'm finished, I find that x equals 6. 
Okay, so there's number one. Number two, you know what? I just realized there's a typo here. Okay, this should say AB. So I'm going to cross that out and EF should be BC. Okay, so to find the length of AB, uh, this is 8 times X. We said X is 6. Okay, so that's what we found. X is equal to 6 here. So 8 times 6 and then minus 14. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 minus 14. That's equal to 34. Uh, BC, so this will be the length of AB. And BC is 4X plus 1. So 4 times, again, we said X is equal to 6 plus 1. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1. 24 plus 1 is 25. And now we check. If I add 34 plus 25, does that give me 59? The answer is yes. So that means my algebra is correct and we have answer this problem okay all right so let's go to the last problem okay so on this one it's saying that h if h is the midpoint of gk okay let's remember what that means that means that this segment gh is congruent to segment hk so if h is the midpoint of gk and gh is 6x minus 7 so this is 6x minus 7 and hk is 5x plus 1 so this is 5x plus 1 determine the length of gk okay remember key point a uh, key word here key term is midpoint and remember what midpoint means midpoint means that it cuts it in half so these two are equal so then i'm going to make a geometric statement and that ge geometric statement is that gh okay is congruent to HK, which means uh, they're equal. So then instead of GH, I'm going to substitute. So 6X minus 7 equals 5X plus 1. Okay, and then I'm going to solve for X. Uh, since this is a 6 and that's a 5, I'm going to subtract the 5 from both sides of the equation. So minus 5X. And then this is 1X, or just X minus 7 equals 1. And then I'm going to add 1. I'm sorry, I'm going to add 7. So then we find that x equals 8. And then they're saying determine the length of gk. So the whole segment. So then this is going to be 5 uh, times 8 minus 7. And this is 5 times 8 plus 1. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 7 should be 33. Right? Is it? I think I might have made a mistake here. Yes, I did make a mistake. Because 5 times 8 is... Uh, I'm saying 5, but this should be a 6. So that was my mistake. So then this should be... Let's see... So 6 times 8 is 48. 48 minus 7 is 41. Okay, so this is 41. And then this one is 5 times 8. That's going to be 40. 40 plus 1 is 41, which confirms that this is a midpoint because these two should be equal. But they want the whole segment. So if you add 41 plus 41, then we find that GK is equal to 41 plus 41. That's going to be 82 units. Okay, and I apologize for the confusion on this one. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, send me an email, okay? Or send me a message, whatever is more convenient for you. I'll see you in the next lesson.